Testament. No tomb sit in bear talk. No tomb sit in bear talk. Holy hells. Just what are you up to? I come to bargain. The hells demand witness. Enough, Mizora. Where is my father? How do I save him? How else we bargain, sisters? Infernos contractos te vocamos. Infernos contractos te vocamos. Infernos contractos te vocamos. Your contract will signed in blood. Forged in fire, bound in bone, but not unbreakable. What are you proposing? A life for a life. No contract is ended without sacrifice. The cost must be paid. Will Ravenguard, a choice is before you. Option one, I show you the way to your father. I guarantee him no harm except that from you and your allies. And you pledge your soul to me and the Archdevil Zariel in a pact eternal. Option two, I break your pact and you are freed from your duty. Your father dies by his enemy's hand, and Baldur's Gate loses its greatest champion. Name your sacrifice. Bloody Zariel. I won't let her take Will. Silence, Karlak. Mizora, you asshole. Choose. Do the right thing. Give your soul so that your father can live. You damned wretch. Do it then. Claim my soul for Zariel. Keep my father safe. Fiat Ita. Fiat Ita. Anima ad beator. a new mission, pup. Go save your father. He's locked in a very nasty place. Gortash's secret command center and prison. Lucky for you, I know the way in. I'll mark your map. After all, a deal's a deal. You know what? I think I'll stick around. Not for the greater good, you understand. Just for the entertainment. <laughs> Twice Mazorus held my feet to the fire, and twice was I burnt. But my father will live. We will return the Grand Duke to his people. And forever a devil's leash will choke me. You did the right thing. The selfless thing. Ah, that means a lot. But understand, I don't plan to wallow in self-pity. More than anything, I'm elated that there's hope yet for my father. We should hurry to this mystery prison and retrieve my father before Mazora tries pulling more tricks. Your father's still got a tadpole in his head, remember? Rescuing doesn't mean curing him. We will knock him out if we need to, or restrain. Your skull vibrates in concord with the astral prism. Bring me to your duke. I will shield him as I shield you. Why would you do that? Better to bring him into the fold than to leave you distracted by regret. Well then, I'm not about to say no. 
This prison's in the lower city. Let's move. The devil Mizora's made herself quite at home, hasn't she? Do make her feel as unwelcome as you can. Voss has gone underground. He'll be waiting for us there. Voss has done his duty. Now, we will do ours. We must find our way to the House of Hope and take the Orphic Hammer. When we next enter the Astral Prism, we will use the hammer to break Orpheus free. It can't have been easy for Will to resign himself to the Pact. But I'm glad he chose his father. The Sharons are using a place called the House of Grief as cover for their presence in Baldur's Gate. Then that's where we need to go. My parents are in there somewhere. Will gave up freedom to save his father. <laughs> I will never understand people like that. Are you worried about Cazador finding out your back? <laughs> I won't lie. The thought hardly fills me with uh, glee. Even with my newfound advantages, he's still an incredibly powerful vampire. But he's arrogant, too. If he does hear I'm back, he'll try to take me and expose himself in the process. Then I'll be able to strike. You really think you can beat him? It's something of a gamble, true, but if I can win, if I can beat him, it would be worth any risk. So yes, I do worry about facing him. But if we can get his attention, finding the ritual's location will be much easier, and that could give me the edge I need. I wanted to ask about Cazador's ritual. You must be thinking about it. The thing that will decide my fate forevermore. Yes, it's been on my mind. Why? Do you think we can stop it? I haven't really decided on the specifics. Obviously, we could stop the ritual, or... not. What? <laughs> I've obviously thought about it. If I was the one who completed the ritual, I'd have such power. And I could walk in the sun without fear I'd turn into a mind flare. And the souls that need to be sacrificed? I don't relish it. But my siblings lured thousands of people to their deaths over the years. I doubt Baldur's Gate would miss them. Of course, I don't even know if I could complete the ritual. It may be impossible, but it certainly is tempting. Time and again, Will's plight reinforces my decision not to pursue the path of a warlock. Will's father owes him gratitude. I hope for his sake Ravenguard is gracious enough to offer it, given how much it cost. I can't believe Will's given up his soul to Zariel. For a father he fell out with ages ago. There's such a thing as being too good. Someone ought to tell Will Ravenguard. Will sacrificed a great deal for his family. The pact may stand, but the strength of his character is clear. Have you heard from Thaniel since we moved on? I have. He speaks to me during my nightly meditations. He is well, and Oliver also. At times they are one, and at others they divide. Easier for playing, perhaps. And the land thrives also. I doubt you would recognize it. Perhaps one day, you and I can both return and see it for ourselves. That preening vulture seems intent on haunting our camp. I suppose we shall find out if her kind sleep and how heavily. Will is a good man. And that is exactly what his devil will use to bind him. In as many ways as she knows how. A man might twist himself into something else just to escape that collar. But I have no such fears for the blade. How are you faring without your harpers? You think me lonely? <laughs> in truth, I prefer travel in a small pack such as this. Unburdened by numbers, we're free to act. 
rather than react. A little like the old days. With allies, every bit as peculiar. Give or take a few tadpoles. I'd like to hear more about those old days. Would you? In time, then. Perhaps once you found a rocking chair for me to doze off in. Keeping very well, I hope. What will you do now that your father's gone? Look after my angel, of course. She's been through more than I can bear to think about. A hundred years in the Shadowfell. A hundred years being murdered by Sharans over and over. It fills me with a rage I can hardly contain. She's a formidable woman, my Aelin. But no one could escape such horrors unscathed. She's in my hands now, and I intend to help her through whatever's to come. We'll both of us stand by you when the time comes to put down the horror that threatens this city. We are your allies for life. Why the stunned face? You look like you've seen a devil. You forced Will to make an impossible choice. The pup dug his own hole, darling. I merely supplied the claws. I've always been the giving type, after all. To wit, go to Gortash's secret prison, and I'll help you spring Will's daddy free. Of course, you could always leave him to rot, but that would make Will's sacrifice worthless. And I know you wouldn't want that. What do you have planned for Will now that the pact is eternally sealed? Focus on the Elder Brain. I'd hate to clog that infected head of yours with needless details. I'm sure my infected head has room for a hint, at least. a gifted hunter, and Zariel's made her share of enemies in and out of the Hells. Devils, demons, deserters. They're a great burden on the Lord of the First. Clause G, Section 9. Targets shall be limited to the infernal, the demonic, the heartless, and the soulless. The clause still holds. As long as Will doesn't tug on my leash, he'll be stalking only the wickedest prey. It's a win-win. Fine, let's move on. You have the best ideas. You've left Karlak alone. Didn't you want her dead? What changed? Oh, you are an inquisitive one. I'd have thought you'd figured by now. Zariel found new use for an old battle axe. The dead three in that bulging brain of theirs are a threat to more than this trifling city you know. Savor her company. Who's to say when Zariel might change her mind? My mistress can be so capricious. If you're going to be staying, I need something in return. Why? I'm supplying Will with every scrap of his infernal power. I've paid my dues many times over. I tell you what, when the time comes to squish that big baddie of a brain, I'll lend you a hand. Like I said, I'm the giving type. Um, hi. It's me, Yenna. You remember me, right? You were really nice to me before, and, um, my mum hasn't come back yet. She might come later. I don't think she's coming. Could we maybe stay here? <sighs> Isn't there a human crest she can join? Of course you can stay, Yenna. Pick a spot and settle in. Yes! You've got a fire and everything! I can cook really good! Whatever you want! Thank you, thank you! Uh-huh! You? I know you. 
How delightful to meet in person. Though, you're shorter than I expected. You have me at a disadvantage. I've no idea who you are. My name's Estraster, journalist. I speak to the people of Baldur's Gate, so our readers don't have to. Are your readers not also people of Baldur's Gate? Well, there's people, and then there's people. You, my dear, are people. In fact, you're the star of the next edition. And what's the headline of that edition? <laughs> if I told you, you'd lose the fun of reading it yourself. It's our juiciest edition in an age, bound to get everyone talking about you. Don't I get a say in this? Darling, we can't let the readers decide what the content is. We've editors for that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've really said rather too much and written rather too little. Good day. Well, well, if it isn't the city's next celebrity. You star in our next edition's top story. Sorry, who are you? Edvard Needle, editor of the Baldur's Mouth Gazette, speaking truth to power since 1450 DR. No need to introduce yourself. I make sure I become intimately familiar with my subjects before writing about them. Yeah. I heard all about your article, and I want you to shut it down. Well, you should have considered that before disgracing yourself in public. I've never heard so much violence against innocent circus freaks before. The truth will be out with tomorrow's broadsheet. People will spit in your face. Your very presence will be bad for business. You'll be a pariah, an outcast, as you should be. And then... We can only hope the fist do their duty and escort you to the gallows. Your days of scumming up this good city streets will be over. Who told you this nonsense? I would never reveal my sources, and certainly not to the likes of you. Besides, you're too late. The headlines are loaded into the print works already. Tomorrow, you will feel the power of free speech. Vox Populi, Vox Dei. Now, guards! I believe our distinguished guest was just leaving. Would you care to escort them out? Should mind my step. Can't keep me out. Have a still watch in every Baldurian home. Why? I'm glad you asked. It would certainly help with the dishes. <laughs> okay, after the joke, go on. Leave him some time and then. the printer, noting its ink splots and intricate cogs. Before you can get closer, however, it begins to speak. Oi! Gormless! Over here! Thought I recognised you. Dolly 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 was right. You aren't much of a looker. Am I going mad, or are you a talking printer? Are you addled in the head? I'm no chattering contraption. I am a person, an artist. Name's Jellywin. This is my paintbrush. I make sure everything that's in those big, ugly article blocks becomes fine printed artistry. I'm a master pensman, I am. Dolly can't stop talking about you. <laughs> hero this, hero that, hero here, hero there. <laughs> Hello, hero. You know, there's some absolute filth about you in tomorrow's edition. Seeing as you were kind enough to free Dolly, 
How's about I do you a favor? Why don't we change the headline? We can load up something a bit less damaging for your reputation. Sounds good to me. Well, first, I've got to release the old nasty top story. Look there! <laughs> now, you've got to find a new article to replace it. I'll get on with finding an article. Good, hurry up then. The block has a board sheet article engraved upon it. It speaks positively of you. If you get closer to the print work, something odd happens. You hear it speak. Not one step further. You are interrupting art. You feel a dancing, mischievous magic sparking through the air around the printer. A fey creature resides within. Sorry to disturb you, but I need to change next edition's headline. Oh, really? There was that rather defamatory headline. Yes, yes, I see the resemblance. I'm afraid I can't help it. I've got a good thing going here. Letting you swap out a whole article might get Etvard suspicious. I wouldn't take it too personal. Etvard gets his lines from up top. Then gets all worked up over it. Although, it not being personal doesn't change how shafted you'll be. Wouldn't changing the article be delightfully naughty? after my own heart. Wonderful. Uh, right, uh, let, let's get this article nice and loose. Uh, there. Now, you'll, you'll need to find a replacement piece, of course. Uh, make sure it's a good one. I have an article. Let's get started. How delightful. The editor will be in for a surprise tomorrow. It's hard to keep a good woman down, isn't it, Carla? I don't know. You managed it for a solid decade. I never meant to harm you, dear. Merely to help you realize your vast potential. You sent me to the hells. You let Zariel take my heart. As though any of it was yours to give away. The greater good, Karlak. Something I wouldn't expect you to understand. You feel no regret, do you? All right. How about fear, then? Oh, you do quite misunderstand. I've already made a deal with your companion. We need each other. Do we now? Easy, Karlak. We won't make it far against the Steel Watch. Listen to reason for once in your life. I'm sorry you feel wronged about how things ended between us, but that was ten years ago. We must look to the future. You have no future. There will come a time, sooner than you think, when death comes knocking on your door. You'll swing that door open, and you'll cower before what you see, and you'll beg, please, Karlak, spare me. I can't wait. Give me trouble now. Find a route. Everything, despite everything. 
Hey, what's this? You ain't supposed to be down here, mate. You spot a curious metal contraption in the water. A submersible. I am here for Duke Older Raven Guard. Show me the way. The Duke? I mean, if you see him, let him know I'm down for a drink. But he ain't here. Which begs the question, what are you bloody doing down here? That's submersible. Why is it here? What is this place? The only port in this whole bleeding city that matters. Now, why are you here? Did Gortash send you? Boss sent me to check up on the situation down here. No news is good news, right? Especially with the rough water between here and the Iron Throne. No prisoners lost in the last batch of runs, either. Though them servants of Umbly are making the trip damn near deadly. Bloody salt is always flopping around in the water. I've almost hit one or two now. Might have even nicked one off the port bow the other day. Maybe they'll teach them to keep out of the way. I've never heard of this Iron Throne. It's an underwater prison. Most secure in the realms. Myself and Cap are the only ones who can make it there in one piece. Lord Gortash keeps some Gondians there. Collateral to keep those working in the Steelwatch foundry under control. Older Raven Guard is here. He must be. If he is, that's Lord Gortash's business. I don't ask questions. I need to get to the Iron Throne. Do you now? Boss never sends anyone that away but prisoners. Please, there's something I need to do in the throne. Something Lord Gortash doesn't need to know about. Oh, the Jableeder's on you. Look, I don't want any trouble. But I know Lord Gortash is up to some mad shit in there. I'll take you in. But look, there's some bad shit going down in there. You don't want to get involved. Neither did I, but it was them or me. I'll get Cat warmed up. Get in when you're ready. is this place? The Iron Throne. A ruin from the city's dark past that could become a template for a brighter future. It is a most useful tool for motivating my Gondian workforce. Key to the construction of the Steel Watch that keep the city safe. But like all tools, the moment it ceases to be useful, I will break it. Thanks to your trespassing, that moment may have come. Return to the docks. Or the deaths of everyone inside will be on your conscience. How many people are trapped within? How many lives will be lost? And what of Duke Ravenguard? Will may never forgive you if you abandon his father to this fate. That was a mistake. When the corpses start to wash up on the shore, remember, you could have prevented all this. Act with haste. Duke Ravenguard is held within these walls. He must be extracted. Omelin, is that you? 
Normally, I would find your people's lust for pleasantries amusing. Unfortunately, we have no time. There are many hostages here. Duke Ravenguard, chief among them. He needs your help. Where are you? Do not concern yourself with me. The city will be best served if you save Duke Ravenguard. Tell me what to do. Duke Ravenguard is held in the security wing. Be careful. There are many hazards. This structure is collapsing. Act with speed. Act with efficiency. Good luck. Our type destroy them! And quickly! We need to find my father! in trouble. I will aid you as much as I can, but hurry. We have little time. Upon exiting the submersible, unlike the Iron Throne, you remain intact. The same cannot be said for most of Gortash's hostages. Duke Ravenguard approaches you, looking confused. He's tadpoled, but under my protection now, just like you. His mind is his own again. Father? Well, God, it pains me to look at you. By Baldrin's graces, why have the hells ordained you to save me? Your tadpole resonates with Raven Guards. The exhausted Grand Duke is a flurry of emotion. Have a heart. Your son is a hero. We saved lives here today, including your own. By every last hell, son, I own oh, my head! Ravenguard's head still aches so powerfully the pain seeps into you. The Absolute may be silenced, but the Duke's parasite still remains. I know you have questions. Please, go to our camp. You'll be safe there. We'll talk soon enough. Ravenguard answers with silence. 
He and Will have much to discuss. Your world's air. I never imagined missing its feeling on my skin. Curious. I owe you a great debt, son child. One I shall repay. When I return to the surface, I will alert my colleagues at the Society. Find me there, and I will offer you what aid I can against this evil. I just... I... I can't thank you enough. I was certain that place was to be my cold, wet tomb. I just wish more of us had made it through. But morning can wait. We were kept hostage to control our families in the Steel Watch Foundry. To keep them building Gortash's death machines. Please. They need to know what happened here. They have no reason to obey Gortash anymore. If they rebel, it'll put a dent in Gortash's steel might. All right, I will help the foundry workers rebel. Gon smiles on me this day. Thank you.